What's going on everybody? I'm DJ Son with the Starless Star Sex and in today's video we're going to be going over Mrs. Crank It Up herself, Finca. So in today's video I'm going to be going over her loadout, her role, utilities that come with her including her gadget, a little bit on how to play her, and if you stick around to the end of the video I'm going to be offering in-game examples of me playing her in rank. So you know my model, I can't just show it, I gotta be about it too. So be sure to stick around, catch that. It's actually an insane play that I made with Finca and if this doesn't make you want to play her after watching this clip, I don't know what will but now it's time for the question of the day so my question of the day for y'all is do y'all think that siege should have an esports tab in the game and i'm not saying like just a shop where you can see esports stuff but we're talking like a whole esports section like where you can see live streams in the game the skins the pro league skins will be on their screen as well you can even watch past matches on that just a whole in-game tab for esports dedicated just for that with everything there there's a lot of games like overwatch i believe did this too where they would have the the matches actually in game and you could watch them so that would bring like a lot more attention to siege instead of having people get off the game or go to twitch and watch it like there's two different avenues that you could take that would be a great thing or a great addition to siege but that's enough of me rambling let me know your opinions on that in the comments down below but for now let's get into this guy baby yeah all right, so now we're going to get into a little bit about Finca's loadout. She has two guns. The first one is the Spear 308, and the second one is a 6P41. That's the LMG. Now, both of these guns really feel good. The Spear has the 2.0 scope, a flash hider, and a vertical grip. That's what I run on it. As I say before, you know, I like 1.5 scopes, really, so I don't really run this assault rifle, but it does feel good. Like, I use Thunderbird on defense, and she has the same type of gun, so... It, there aren't really any drawbacks to using this weapon but me personally i prefer the lmg so it has the 1.5 scope on it like i say i'm a lover of this scope i slap a flash hider on there because you know flash hiders are king and siege and it has a vertical grip doesn't really have an angle grip on there so that's the only option that you have to run in terms of how grips go but the reason that i like to run the lmg over the spear is because if you look at the graph over here or the stats of the gun it has 46 damage, a 680 fire rate, and the capacity is you have 100 bullets, right? Where if you go over to the spear, it's only dropping off by 4 points. And the fire rate is only up by 20. So you would be better off running the LMG in all honesty. Because for one, it has a higher capacity, it does more damage. And the fire rate isn't really all that drastically different from the assault rifle to the LMG. So if I had to pick a weapon for you to hands down run, it's definitely going to be the LMG. Now y'all know, in every video that I do, I do not run anybody with a shotty. Sledge, Thatcher, so anybody with a shotgun, I'm not running. So you can use this for the memes or you can use it, just maybe it feels good to you. But me personally... I don't run any type of shotguns. As you see, I don't have any attachments on it, so it just has the charm. But as I said before, if I had to pick over the spear and the 6P41, I'm definitely going with the LMG. Now that's it for her primaries. Her secondary, she has a pistol and a gone six. This like everything else in Siege or a lot of other things in Siege, it depends on preference, right? If you're going in and you're just getting kills and you're not clearing utility or anything like that, then you can use the pistol. But if you're clearing utility and stuff, you might want to bring a gone six like if the team is bringing shields and all that stuff you can bring in the gone six but like i say since you're running the lmg there is no chance that you run out of bullets like when you're in a fight with 100 bullets and you run out of bullets mid fight i don't know listen we're gonna have to talk about that somebody need to dm me personally because that there is no way that happens so if you're running the lmg you can just put on the gone six just to have it on you so there's not much to talk about in terms of the pistol. You know, it has a muzzle brake and an underbarrel. It has a laser, so I don't really like running lasers. You put muzzle brake on the pistol because it's a one shot. Not really anything to talk about here. The Gone 6, not really much to talk about here. You just use it. It's a one shot thing, clears utility like shields and stuff like that. So it just depends on preference. For her gadget, she has a regular frag grenade and she has a stun grenade. Now, this depends on how you want to push or what you're pushing. So. If you want to be aggressive and you go for those picks, you can use the stun grenades or if you want to clear like Jaeger ADSs and try to help your team on getting the wall and stuff like that. There's different ways that you can use the flashes. So Siege is not all about kills. 
you know, people will slap grenades on and then just throw grenades willy-nilly like, oh, I was going for the kill or stuff like that. No, listen, you have to clear utility and siege before you get picks like that. You're not going to be able to nade somebody that's playing in the corner with one of my charges and Jaeger ADSs. So be sure you either bring the flashes and somebody else has grenades to do stuff like that or someone else can have flashes, usually like a Thermite or a Habana or something like that. Usually your hard breach has flashes. They can clear the util for you and then you can go ahead and nade with the frag grenade. So there's different things that you could do with her loadout to be useful. But that's pretty much it. But that's enough for her. I know that was kind of winded, a little bit winded. I spent a little bit much time on there. But yeah, I just wanted to go into detail of how I use her. So that's it for her. Now we're going to go into what her role is. So now we're going to touch on Finka's role a little bit. Finka's role is pretty much an entry type of operator. So this means you'll be doing things like setting drones up, going in, and then getting those entry picks. So what you would do first is you would set up drones in the area that you and your team is thinking about pushing. These are usually like, you know, high traffic areas or areas that you need to take control of. For example, like if you're pushing Oregon and the team goes downstairs, nine times out of 10, you're going to be pushing blue and you're going to be pushing like the meeting area to get the hatches. Usually people may do a freezer push. So it just depends on what you and your team want to push. In that scenario that I just presented you, what you would do is you would set probably one drone up to watch the tower stairs, which is the stage area. And maybe have someone put a drone in meeting. Someone could put a drone in main lobby. And if you have someone pushing from the kitchen side just to do roaming clear, you could have a drone over there. So there's five people on the team. There's five drones that you will have in the prep phase. So that's three spots right there. Main lobby, meeting, stage. What you would do is if you're going from those areas, you would have your support players stay on your, the drones or continue droning ahead of you. Or if you're playing solo, just set a drone up in the area that you're going to be pushing and then have someone check it periodically. If they don't check it, then you could actually check it yourself. But just make sure you're close to the area that you could check because you don't want to set a drone up and be looking on the drone outside and it takes you four or five seconds, maybe even 10 seconds to even get into the point where your drone is. That allows too much time for someone to rotate up and they could be in the area. So timing is, is crazy in multiplayer games like this. So just make sure you're close to an area where you drone it out so you can take it as quickly as possible. One thing you shouldn't do is just go in without any intel, no drone setup, anything like that, and just face check everything. That's a real easy way to get picked off. So you have to be very smart with your drones and get as much intel as you can along with those picks. And then you'll really see Finka shine if you're able to do that. And you also have things to aid you on your journey to get those kills for lack of a better word. And we're going to get into that right now. So the biggest thing in her loadout is the adrenaline surge. That's that's like her operator gadget. One use for the adrenaline surge is to boost your health. And a second use for it is also making it to a point where you have little to no recoil on your gun. So if you pop the surge, you will have a little bit of a health boost and you will have less recoil on your weapon. So before you take a fight, you can pop that and you will definitely have the advantage in that fight because one person has crazy recoil and one person does not. And also, you know, remember Zofia? Remember that person that we will always bring, you know, assault rifle, run it down. Mrs. Zofia, remember her? Yeah. Remember when she had with Stan? Well, Finka is basically the new Zofia in terms of that. When you're injured, Finka can use her gadget to get right back into the fight. But where it differs from Zofia is she can actually pick her teammates up when they're injured as well. Whereas Zofia's withstand was just for her. So if someone goes down, maybe they rush in, you got, you know, we all have those teammates where you're playing ranked. Somebody goes in, they get down and he's like, yo, somebody come get me. They don't know I'm down. Somebody come get me. You just pop the surge and they're right back up. Like you don't have to risk, you know, you going in or you switching from the other side of the map completely going to get this man up, you could just go ahead and pop the surge and they'll be right back in the fight. So that's one of the biggest things with her. She already has a health boost herself in the recoil thing I talked about a little bit before, and you could also revive your teammates. So I'm not surprised Finka is getting a lot of play right now because of these uses. She's most definitely meta right now, and not only that, she's really fun to play, especially with the MG. You could just run in there and just spray it down let that gun sing and it's just a lot of fun don't waste your surges use them for a health boost before taking a fight in the area you know someone is in so that goes back to the droning thing you set your drones up or you drone the area you know somebody's close you pop that surge you take that fight nine times out of ten you're gonna get that kill 
Don't just pop it all willy nilly just cause you know, you think that I should just use the gadget. As with most gadgets in Siege, the timing of using them can make or break a round or even a game. So be smarter, be better, win more, Siege Mark. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. But that's pretty much it in this video so far. We've touched on her loadout, what role she has, her gadget, and pretty much a little bit on how to use it. Now, I'm going to actually show you an in-game example of how she's used and why you should use her in-game. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I went kind of crazy in this clip. So if I could do it, you definitely could do it too. So I'm going to go ahead and let this in-game example play and I will catch y'all when this is up. Yo, there's a draw. Yo, yo. You guys not have mics. Meeting, meeting, meeting. Rotate, long desk, rotate, long desk, rotate, long desk right now. Yeah, DJ, hey, yo, that's a clip, baby. How yeah. come you guys wasn't doing all of this stuff before, man? Like, hanging. All right, so after watching that, if you don't want to play Finca, and if you don't think Finca is useful, I don't know what to tell you. But that's it for me. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And also, if you like and enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the Astral Star 6 channel. We would really appreciate it. And also head over there and see what other guys we have for you. And if you want to see more from yours truly, me, you can go ahead and check my channel out. I'll put it on the screen right now. All of my socials are at DJ Sun, Instagram, Twitter, all of that. Everything is DJ Sun. So go ahead and check my channel out too. I really appreciate it. But I'm going to stop rambling for the outro. I'm going to get up out of here. Astralis, thank you for having me as usual. And I will catch y'all in the next video. Good luck in your ring games. Y'all gonna be great. Peace.